Today we've got an iPhone 13 Pro with no visible damage to the display. However, if we hit the power button here, for some reason, all we get is a white screen. So we are going to attempt to remedy this with a hardware workaround. I'm really surprised this is still happening because it's been going on for quite a few months now. And I don't know why this hasn't been patched yet, but uh, in any case, we are going to see if we can get this thing working again. All right, I've got the screen under the microscope and I'm looking at this in the upright position. So this would be basically the bottom end of the screen here. And one of the things I have a hard time uh, seeing here are these little test points or connection points, whatever you want to call them, in most of the videos and photos that I've seen. So I'm going to show you what I think is one of the easier ways to get to the right place that you need to be. On this left hand side, I like to start at the apple here and you'll see there's three rows. There's a row on top, middle, and bottom. On the center row here, if we go seven from the right hand side, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is what we're looking for right here. This is where we're gonna be connecting our jumper. So I will scratch away the surface and uh, I might even come back to that in a minute and zoom in on it, but we'll just mark it for now. So that's the first one that we're looking for. And then over here on the right hand side, you're going to see uh, a few different rows here, but the main thing I'm gonna point out is this. If you look and use this as your starting point, this little area here, and just go directly above it, this is gonna be actually the second row from the top, but I'm just gonna go straight up from here and we're going to count one, two, three. So it's going to be the third one over, and that's where we're going to connect the other end of our jumper wire. So I'll mark this for now. And then what I'm going to do is uh, zoom in on these so you can actually see this a little better as it's being uh, installed. And of course we'll need to jump, go and grab a wire to do it. So let's get a little closer here. All right, so there we are number three and we just want to get down to the copper so we can connect this and come back here and add some solder momentarily and then over here to the left hand side Let's see if we can get a little closer here all right And that's plenty to attach to. So we just want to move any excess off of here if we can. All right, so that'll work. Go grab a jumper wire and get the soldering station ready. Don't need much flux, so I'll just get some like so.
looks good. We can go ahead and clip this wire off. Let's see. There should be fine. Now we'll just clean this up, get some solder mask on it, and we should be ready to go. All right, let's get this thing back together. All right, hopefully you can see. Can you see those wires? Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Okay, so there, I know it's hard to see. There's our wire installed. We'll get this into the phone. So we're just testing right now. I'm not gonna worry about the proximity sensor or anything else like that. We just need to plug in the display, connect the battery, hit the button, and hope that this is going to work. And there we have it.